Hi, I'm Jeff Watts, and welcome to another light bulb talk. This light bulb talk is about the five Scrum values. Yeah, Scrum has values. Not a lot of people know that, but it does. It has meetings, it has artifacts, it has roles, it has rules. But for me, more important than all of that are the five values that underpin Scrum. And it's surprising how often you speak to people who've been doing Scrum for quite a long time and you're met with, really? Values? Never heard of those. I find trying to apply something like a framework without really understanding what the principles that are underpinning it can be quite frustrating and lead to a certain amount of incongruence. So I thought I'd do a short video to just explain what those five values are. The first value is focus. Part of the underlying philosophy of Scrum, I suppose, is this idea that by doing less stuff, you can get more stuff done. One of the biggest problems in a lot of the organizations and the teams that I work with is overburden. They've simply got too much stuff going on at the same time, whether that's too many projects, too many roles, too many tasks. Obviously that stems from its lean history, reducing the work in progress, but in Scrum that also applies at the role level. So each individual is expected to focus on one role for one team on one product backlog and to do that role well, giving yourself enough capacity to actually get things done before moving on to the next task leads to more success. So focus is our first value. Our second value is around commitment. Once we've focused, we then commit to getting stuff done, but not in the way that everybody often assumes the word commitment to mean. It's not about forcing people to make commitments and then holding their feet to the fire to make sure that they actually follow through on that. It's about committing to being realistic, about being open and transparent, committing to help each other throughout the sprint, committing to collaborate with one another, committing that we will continuously inspect and adapt. The team is expected to make a realistic commitment of sprint planning about what they think they're capable of and then committing to doing whatever they can to try and make that happen. They can't commit to actually making that happen because there are too many things outside of their control. Commit to giving the team the space to focus. They're not gonna continually interrupt the team and change priorities every day. They're gonna give the team the chance to deliver on their commitment. Our third value is openness. Transparency is absolutely essential if we're looking to inspect and adapt. We can't take any action unless we actually know what we're taking action on. So being open about the decisions that we've made, how we've made those decisions, what the priorities are and how we've made them, transparency about our estimates, our deliveries, the quality that we're doing, our definition of done. At the end of every sprint, we're going to be transparent about our delivery and ask for feedback on all of that. Our fourth value is respect respecting different opinions because we're operating in a cross-functional team now and putting all those different experiences and skill sets, cultures, beliefs, perspectives into one team can cause a little bit of friction as we get used to self-managing. And the second aspect is respecting that there are very few people who actually intentionally want to sabotage what we're doing. So respecting people's positive intent. And our final scrum value is courage. A team stepping up and taking responsibility and making visible what they think they're working on and actually their progress, perhaps on a daily basis, but certainly at the end of a sprint, takes courage. Asking for feedback on incomplete work where we know we're going to have to do some work to make it better, that takes courage. Taking on some of the organisational impediments and trying to change the organisation takes courage. A product owner trying to prioritise across multiple stakeholders and with incomplete information takes courage. All of the stuff that we're going to be doing in an agile team is involving uncertainty, anxiety and change. So that takes courage. So we respect that. So that's a brief introduction to the five Scrum values. Hopefully that gives you a better idea as to what Scrum is all about at the, at the philosophical level rather than just a practical mechanical framework level. Hope you enjoyed this light bulb talk. If you did, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.